Welcome back, everybody. Got a chance to uh, get out and shoot our Remington 783 again. A couple of times, actually. Um, we were able to uh, shoot a few groups out of uh, some of the loads we were looking at with that last uh, node we were on. And we also got an opportunity to get out and do another test and actually push our pressure test looking for our our high pressure or kind of our max no-go zone kind of like to at this time throw in a little disclaimer that this rifle shoots different than everybody else's the stuff that you see me doing to this rifle you will not be able to do to your rifle uh, these loads are specific to this chambering cartridge and everything I'm doing so do not attempt to copy any of my data this is basically just information that what we have learned uh, so with that being said um, like I said we ran out shot some groups I uh, didn't have the, the chrono on it at that time we were just out doing some some shooting I happened to have what I needed so we just did a little blasting with that uh, the next time we went back out um, I did have the chrono on there we did do the ladder test and uh, we got some pretty pretty good results out of that so uh, let's get in and get in and show you what those things were here's the uh, target we were using uh, here's we started off with this uh, 43.5 grains and uh, that's the interesting little group we got out of that uh, we had stepped up to 43.8 grains and there's that group see it's trying to spread out a little bit then we jumped up to 44 grains even we got those interesting results and there's four shots right there and one, one guy popped out of there a little bit and then we stepped up to 44.2 grains and there's the the group we got right there and of course had another one little, little one pop out of there but uh, that was the day we had uh, about a 10 mile an hour crosswind on that day so it was kind of kind of a little hinky with the wind but I was trying to trying to watch what I was doing pretty close but, but that was some kind of interesting groups there uh, half inch that one there measures uh, 0.875 that one is 0.540 and that one is 0.508 uh, if you take the little zinger out of there that group there those four shots are 0 0.208 so it looks to me like the guns kind of want to shoot in here and with this in mind we wanted to kind of look at that a little bit closer so we got back out there and did a little more investigating on this load here's a uh, another ladder test that we pulled off and this time I loaded I loaded within that that uh, range that we had up there from before we were looking at this guy right in here and I really wanted to kind of look at that zone a little bit closer and, and we never did find out where our max pressure was so we also went a looking for that while we were at it. And here's uh, our uh, ladder test we just pulled off. We started at uh, 43.3, which was this load here. And I went on up, up pretty high. You see, uh, we kind of flattened off right in here, the 43. Just wasn't looking real great. Then we come up a little bit further and then we jumped into this node right here. That's six feet per second difference right in here. And that's at that 44, 42. These two guys here. So that was uh, that was really kind of good to see that. And we went on up even further. Got up to 44, 6, 44, 4. Like I said, we're still looking for pressure signs. And 45 even. And that is three foot per second difference right in there in that little shelf. That's getting up there pretty high. We're uh, about almost uh, 3170 in there. 
I might go back and kind of look at that again. But then, then we started uh, climbing on up, and right here I started finding pressure. 45.6 grains of that stuff, and just starting to get a little um, cratering in the primers. Next one, next one up, went up another two grains. Just started to see a little bit of a mark in the bottom of the case uh, for the um, extractor. And then the next one, I saw even more signs, so we stopped there. That last one went up to 3266. But uh, this kind of looks interesting, but I might like this bigger node. It's over my 3100 feet. So we're going to continue to play around in this area here. And I'm guessing right in the middle of that is probably 44.2. So I can load into there, and if it falls off on either side due to temperature or whatever, I should still be in a, be in a pretty good zone. So we're probably going to go after this. Uh, we're going to change some uh, seating depths. Right now I'm uh, really close to the lands on this thing. So I might play around a little bit with those seating depths and see if I can get these get these guys to tighten up any better. Uh, we may even try some some primer, different primer testing on there. Uh, but uh, that's kind of where we're at there. But the, looks like she's trying to shoot pretty good. Happy so far. So good news, the county has relaxed its restrictions on this COVID-19 stuff. We're officially yellow, so uh, I can get out to my 300-yard bench and uh, find out what these loads are doing for sure and pick which load I'm going to be using and uh, get my data built up on it so I can get out to the 1,000-yard bench and uh, really string her out and see what she's going to do. So stick around, uh, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to make sure you uh, can keep up with all this as we're going and we'll catch you next time.